Uh, these are the lower control arms. What I'm going to try doing is I'm going to put uh, purple power in the ultrasonic cleaner and see how that works. Uh, so let's go put some of that in. It says wear rubber gloves, so I can't imagine it hurting the rubber gloves. So, uh, super clean. I hope that's what the parts look like when we're done. And I have no clue how well it'll work on rubber. The ultrasonic cleaner works off cavitation. It runs at ultrasonic frequencies that create little tiny bubbles that explode on the surface, basically, and that's the scrubbing action. Um, try it with a, a piece of aluminum foil. I did a video a couple years back. A uh, piece of aluminum foil suspended in there, and you turn it on, and it will eat through the aluminum foil and make holes. I don't have very good light back here, but hopefully you can uh, see it. Well, it's certainly uh, taking something off. I'll come back and check on it a minute here. I'm sure I'm going to have to run it through several cycles. Well, let's check in on them. Oh my god, that's beautiful! Where's one of the big ones? Oh, it's getting there. It is getting there. So this is uh, toward the end of the first, the second cycle. Yeah, so I think I might start, uh, you know, basically I could pull it out and do a little rinsing and that stuff and get some of the heavy stuff uh, out of the way and put it back in. Well, I'm really pleased with how they came out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, these are the the ones that go inside the end of the dog, the edge of the dog bone, uh, or uh, actually the uppers, the uppers, to the uh, anyway. Uh, when you're taking those out, be careful. You can see there's a little nick right there. There we go. Little nick right there. This one has quite a bit. All right, that's my bad for pulling them out with the screwdriver the way I did. Uh, this is the first one. I was more gentle with the other ones because I had a better idea of how they came out. So, uh, you know, like this one here, there's no damage. little scar in the rubber there. That could have been from before, but that's probably where I pried it out. Um, but it didn't break through to the metal. For, and for the way this sits in, it's not not an issue anyway. It's still going to seal the grease just fine. Um, I'm just pointing it out so you can be careful. A little bit of flashing there. Now there's a little bit of uh, rust. Yeah, there's still just a little bit of debris there, but look at the rest of it. The rest of it came out really nice. Certainly way nicer than the greasy gunk that uh, went into the ultrasonic cleaner. And then these cups. Kind of hard to see with the black in there and everything. I suppose I could... Uh, shine a little light in there and... See that it came out all nice and clean. <clears throat> Basically what I did was I put it in there and, and shot the first video. I ran it uh, four or five times. Uh, and then I just let them sit in there overnight. Okay. Uh, then this morning, in fact actually just before I pulled them out, I went it, I heated it up and I ran it again. Just so that the stuff that you know might have been heavier, might have still been hanging on, stuff down inside the grooves here. 
um, that had a chance to soak overnight, you know, boom, it would come out. Now, I could have pulled them out and wiped them and cleaned them yesterday, but timing-wise, it just worked out to just leave them in overnight and, and do it, and I'm really pleased with how they came out. So, 